Friday video from me, but it's actually Saturday. Because I'll tell you why, I started to film and then when I checked my film, I hadn't got the disc in. Then I started again and then the battery went down. So here I am again. Third time lucky. Okay, red pepper, take three. I've sliced it in half just to make it a little bit more interesting um, because otherwise it's just a big red, red pepper. But what I'm going to do is just do a nice quick little watercolour sketch, nothing too complicated. And I'm using vermilion for my peppery colour. Okay, and you can see I've actually cleaned my, my palette for once because it was getting really bad. So that's the colour I'm going to use, this vermilion. So I'm just going to have to move that a little bit. I'll come a bit further that way for you. There you go. Just need to have a bit more space. So you can see my, my palette just about, but I need to have room to move my hand and everything. Okay, so I'm going to start off with no drawing, just doing the outside shape. Roughly like that. A bit bigger than that. And there's quite a bit of green bit in the middle. Okay, let us just soften that off. Keeping the edge fairly smooth because it is a smooth type of vegetable. Oh, that's a bit wonky, isn't it? Bring that out a little bit more. You can actually see the skin of the other side, but I won't worry about that at the moment. And I'll probably add something that vermilion to make it a bit darker, a bit brighter. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is just soften off that edge. Just with a bit of water before it dries too quickly, which it is. Agitate it a bit. Okay, can't lift too much more, so we'll drop a little bit more in. Now, I've also added, and I've just smudged that. Okay, we'll have to extend the shape a bit. Doesn't matter. Right. I've also got a bit of white on my palette here and I've added a bit of cadmium to give me this creamy colour here. So let it just all run together. we've got dark colour in there as well so we'll have to deal with that at some stage so let's just bring this up here like that okay and there's really quite a bit more yellow going on there this is just nice to play with the colours and we're going to go now to the stem so I'm going to use just good old sap green, keep it simple. And I'm going to just go into that yellow while it's still wet. Need to darken that green, but this is just to get, just to get started. Okay, that's good. Right, now I'm going to have some more of this creamy colour here. So I've got the white. I'm going to take some of the vermilion. Just want to darken that a bit more.
and always have your white and add your colour to it, not the other way around. All right, let's do a bit more playing about here. Shape that a bit, shape that a bit, just scrubbing it, moving it around, just having a bit of fun. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some raw umber to that green. A bit more. Still fairly damp, so that's okay. And it's quite brown on that end bit where it's been picked. Let's intensify that. cap thing that it has. This bit actually is a lot lighter than I've got it so let's just lift a little bit out. Now I'm going to take some vermilion and I'm going to mix a little bit of alizarin crimson with it to get a darker red. Whoops. It's me splashing paint all over the place. And I'm going in here. smooth but then we've got this little bit and we've got actually some seed heads so let's add a few of those and the same this side and we've got we've got seed heads again A little bit that goes up there. This reminds me of a heart. <laughs> Ventricles, basic biology. Oops, that's played a bit, I won't mind. Let's lighten that a bit. Let's lighten that a little bit. Right, now more vermilion in there, more alizarin, and make the skin on the outside that much darker. Here. Right, 
and also just bringing it out a little bit. bit of pale lemon for those seeds. And I'm going to take more alizarin to add to that and I'm going to also add a teeny bit of Payne's Grey to get a really dark shape in here. Oh, it's bleeding a bit but that's okay. We can tidy that up. Let's just have a little slit up there. Again, it's very dark in there as well. Let's go around. Right, now what I need to do is tidy that off. Oops. I always think it's good when things go wrong in these videos because then you can see how I'm correcting it. There's a bit of white on there just to lighten that up a bit. Okay, so how are we doing? We need to darken off that green a bit. Again, I'm just going to put a bit of Payne's Grey in there. It's a fairly, fairly controlled painting. This is number six brush, by the way. Need some clean tissue. And this red again just building up the layers this is quite a big chunk here that's quite a bit but I don't mind I'm just just sort of making the shape we've got to go in with some clarity there I think just to make it look a bit a bit sharper That's okay, that's coming all right. Now there's a 
of it is where I sliced through with the knife. I think there's something moved there. So I've got a shadow bit to get in there. So I'm going to take just a little bit of raw umber and just push it up to make the shadow. Can you see that shadow there? A bit more. Don't want to go too crazy on the detail because I just want you to have this as a nice warm up sort of exercise. I want to see a bit more yellow in that, um, I don't know, whereabouts. Down a little bit, just a little bit. Just mop that off a bit because I want this really darky red. That is probably actually darker than it really is, but I want to get the feeling that this is deep inside at the back. And it shows up by doing it really dark, it's showing up those seeds. Just rinse the brush off slightly and encourage it out. And I'm going to do the same Be mindful of the marks you're making as always. Let's just accentuate that one a little bit. And just let that blend a bit more. Okay, yeah, I'm getting quite pleased with that, I think. Let's just have a bit of um bit of something going on here. Show the shape. I know I've gone. I've put more colour color on there than I w would really have liked to um, because it's quite white. But um, hey ho, it's a quick sketch without any drawing whatsoever. So I think I can be forgiven for that. I'm not going to worry about the underside, of, or am I? No, I'm not going to bother with that bit. get some of this darker colour on the outside because it is very very dark and up here we seem to have lost the way a bit there let's bring a bit of colour down and just have a little fiddle around there Even though it's just a quick watercolour sketch, if you can just get a little bit of detail in, it just sort of, well, it just gives it that bit of, I don't know, va va -voom. Okay, I think that'll do. Um, do we splatter or mess about with it or anything else? No, I don't think so. I think we'll leave it at that. And that is your little... little bit. No, maybe not. 
your little watercolour sketch for your Friday video. I'm just going to take a bit of that there. And it's knowing when to stop, isn't it, eh? It's always knowing when to stop. That can bleed in a bit. That's okay. Yeah, that'll do. Let's stop. Let's leave it there. And I hope you enjoy playing around with that. And whatever you do, however it turns out, just enjoy the process of the doing. Okay, happy, happy painting. <laughs>